Hello boys and girls, welcome to Arts and Crafts. Today I'm gonna to be making an ocean scene using cardstock and different colors of blue tissue paper. And of course we'll need some Sharpies. I like to use uh, the Sharpies or some other type of permanent marker for this project because when we use our glue water to make the ocean waves using the tissue paper, it won't make the drawing bleed. Uh, but you can use your regular markers and try that if your mom doesn't want you to use Sharpies because if you do use Sharpies, you're going to need to have uh, probably some old clothes on and maybe a piece of uh, newspaper or I've got an old piece of poster board here, something to protect your surface because the permanent markers won't wash out of your clothes or off of the, the table, so you'll need to be very careful. I also have glue and scissors. And I had about a tablespoon of water, and then I added about a tablespoon of my, just my school glue and stirred it up. And that's probably all you'd need for this project. So you can start out by drawing a picture with pencil. I've already done mine to save time. And that way then you can go back over it with your permanent markers. I'm gonna just use several different colors. I think I might use purple for my octopus. And I've got his eight legs already drawn. And I'll need to give him some eyes. And I'm just going back over the picture I drew with my pencil. And I'm probably gonna use different colors for the fish. But you can draw shells, sand dollars, coral. You can do sharks, minnows all kinds of fish, whatever you want to put in your underwater scene. And I didn't go exactly over the drawing that I used, so I might take my pencil eraser that I've got over here and just get rid of any extra little lines that I didn't color or go over with my marker. Now you can color in your fish and all of your little uh, sea creatures or you can just do the outline. I think I'm just going to do the outline today, but it'd be very pretty if you wanted to do the whole fish, color it all in. That would be just as nice. Let's see, how about pink? Maybe some little pink minnows down below. I'm going to make mine real colorful because whenever you see a saltwater fish tank, you know how pretty all the different colors of the fish are. That makes it so vibrant and fun to look at. So you might try doing that with your picture here. I'm gonna give little eyes to each of the fish, maybe a little mouth. And how about some brown sand dollars down below? They kind of look like this. So I'm getting there. Just got a few more little things to draw. And then I'm gonna need my glue water. Let's see, how about a seashell over here in the corner? And one more fish. Maybe I'll use red. I didn't use blue just because I have a feeling if I used blue, we wouldn't be able to see it too well because the water that we're gonna be putting on top is gonna to be blue. So here are my pictures already drawn. Like I said, you could color them in. But once you're finished drawing, then you're gonna to wanna to take your tissue paper and you can just even tear pieces or you can cut, like me, the waves of the ocean. So I'm trying to do kind of a scallop. It might be easier if I turn it sideways. And go up and down the waves. And I have three or four pieces of tissue paper together here makes it a little thicker and easier to cut. You can see I've got several, several layers. But that's good because I'm gonna need all of those. And here I've got some. I might just go ahead and cut across the bottom to separate them. And I think I might, I might cut right here so that they're all separated out. Now what I'm gonna do is do one more piece that's a little darker. Kind 
of an aqua. Looks like ocean waves, ocean water. Oh, I've got my fan on and it's blowing the tissue because tissue paper is so lightweight. But it's great because it's thin and you'll be able to see your fish through the water. All right, I'm going to go ahead and make that a little bit skinnier like that. And I think, let's see, where are they stuck together? At this end. I'm going to just separate them out. So I've got lots of different colors of waves and I'm going to layer them now. I'm going to use my blue water, get that where you can see it, and I'm just going to go right over the top of the whole page. Now I used cardstock because it's a little sturdier, but if you don't have that, I think a piece of construction paper, maybe even your computer printer paper would work. So now I've pretty much covered the whole, whole sheet, and I'm going to start taking just one piece at a time and layering that on top. Ooh, my fan is really blowing. And here, you can see how long it is. I need to just tear it or cut that like that so that it's not too long for my page. And then I'm going to put a piece at the bottom. And it's okay if it tears. Mine just tore. And that's okay because you won't be able to see it once you get the glue water on it. And I'll need another piece of the dark. Let me see. Here we go. So I'm layering all up and down my page, dark over light, and I'm hoping it's going to look like water. And it even sticks up off my page a little bit, which I think looks really neat. You can cut that off or even push it down behind the paper. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So far, this is what I've got. Let me go over it with my glue water just to make sure it stays down. And if it ruffles up, that's okay because it's supposed to look like waves. My fan is really blowing. <laughs> there we go, we'll hold it down with the scissors. Let me show you what I've got so far. Now, I need to take my glue water and go over it a little bit better. And I need to put a little bit more to cover the rest of the white. So here's another sheet. Put that on. And here's a little scrap. I might put that on there. And maybe take one or two more pieces. I'm going to try to go all the way over to the edge and just keep adding a little more glue water. And now all I need to do is go back and find all the little white places that I missed. I'm going to put one going sideways, I think, over here on the far corner. And Another little piece up here in the corner. And it kind of sticks to your fingers and that's okay if it ruffles up or, or gets wrinkled because that's how the ocean waves look. And I'm going to put one or two more going across the top and over here on the side and the bottom. Let me turn this one over just to cover that bottom corner. And there we go. Now let me go back over it with my glue water and you'll see the finished product. And like I said, if you don't want to have the waves up at the very top, you can always cut off the top or fold it over to just reach around to the back. But there's my ocean scene, and it really looks like waves, I think. Your picture of your sea creatures probably would show up even better if they were colored in. 
So you may want to take time to color in all your fish and your octopus and your seashells. Let me show you some books you can check out that have to do with the ocean. Here's The Pout Pout Fish and The Bully Bully Shark by Deborah Dyson. And there's another Pout Pout Fish. This one is The Pout Pout Fish Cleans Up the Ocean, also by Deborah Dyson. We have a lot of Pout Pout Fish books at the library. Here's an old favorite, One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish by Dr. Seuss. And this one's a great book, Super Submarines by Tony Mitten and Aunt Parker. And it's really neat. It's got lots of pictures of underwater creatures, but it also tells you all about the submarine here in the back. So come to the library and get yourself some books, and I hope you'll enjoy making an underwater ocean scene. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.